have Mr. Miles Kane with me. How you doing? How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm the uh, Joey of friends. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit Joey, isn't it? <laughs> um, I'm good, you know. I'm, I'm kind of buzzing after that gig. Yeah. For a two o'clock set, I, uh, I, I thought no one would be there, you know, but it felt like... Uh, by the end, it felt like we, you know, a headline set. We had mm -hmm. a great crowd and it was rocking. There was a lot of people. It was you know, very cool. Yeah. You released your album in January. Yeah. Change the show. Yeah. Can you explain the title to me? Change the show. Change the show. Well, it, it, it started. Uh, I guess it's the meaning of it is about you know sticking to the path that you want to take and not get distracted with all the nonsense that life can bring. But the the lyric itself came from when I was watching the news one morning and. There was so much negativity and there was a... Uh, it just felt really depressing and I just went, oh, fucking change the chant, change the show. Then that sort of started these lyrics about everyone banging heads together and not and felt right and it was sort of corresponding in my sort of personal life as well and it just sort of... So it means a lot to me, that too. Your album sounds kind of soulful, 60s vibes. Yeah. You are... I read that you get inspired by... Motown artists from Diana Ross to the yeah, Four Tops. You're right. How do you? You've done your research, how do you, haven't you? How do you, <laughs> yeah. really. How do you? How do you collide that with, I with think, yeah, yourself? It's just it's just like anything that I listen to. Um, I really do get influenced by it, and I just try and that just I absorb it, and then I sort of will put my own little thing on it with my vocals or my guitar. Like I've got, I, I know my specific style of what music I want to make and it may, it may be influenced by that sort of genre but at the end of the day I think you know it's me if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. What artist dead or alive would you want to work with ever? Ooh. You can say Mozart if you want to. <laughs> I don't know probably like Sam Fender, Billie Eilish or John Lennon. This is your fourth time on Rockwerchter. Do you have a, like a bond with the festival? It is it special? To yeah, you? I think each time we've done it, it just seems bigger and bigger. So it's yeah. just I'm I'm slowly like knocking my way up to the get to the headline is what I want. Uh, maybe it'll be in a couple more years, but I can feel it coming. That's what my goal is with this. Cool. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so have much. Have a great day. Yeah. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cool.